This is Fresher from Lab One, and we're bringing to you our latest rack extension known as Battleax Sound Destroyer. By its name, it's a distortion unit by design, and within it, we've got five algorithms that have five different distortion shapes and types. We'll go through each of the effects and just brief over the way that Battleax works because uh, it's a new concept to the way that we can reorder the effects. We have the standard input control which is a plus minus 20 dB control. We have an effects chain matrix and this tells us the order that the algorithms are running through Battleax and processing the audio as we go. Currently, we're going through the order with the cleave effect first, smash effect second, flail effect third, thrash fourth, and decap fifth in the chain. So as you see the five slots, it corresponds to the order on the effects chain matrix. Okay, each algorithm has its own parameter controls. There's two controls, so you can tweak the internal workings of the distortion. Each effect has their own two controls. Additionally, each effect has a break mode, which allows you to send a signal pre, post, or send, which is parallel, the audio source before, after, or in conjunction with the internal algorithm. We'll explain this a little bit later. It can get a little bit involved, but we'll show you how that works. So after the five effects, We've got a tone control, which allows us to brighten or darken the overall signal. And that's the distorted signal because we have a split mode. And this tells us what is being distorted at the time. So as it shows full frequency, that means the full spectrum is being affected by the effects. As we step through, we're now distortion mid and high, leaving the bass clean. We're distorting bass and high, leaving the mid clean. Distorting bass and mid, leaving high clean. And then we're distorting the bass only, mid only, and high only. So these are a bit more involved with parallel processing, but you can actually split the signal and only affect certain regions of the sound. We've got a dry wet control which is common with these sort of effects. So you have completely dry original untouched signal, fully wet distorted signal and of course that will depend on the split mode as well. Additionally there's a gain dry control and this is a simple toggle that as you turn it off this means that the master control has no effect over the dry signal. So you can turn up and down the wet signal and balance it if you find it's over distorting. And then you can rebalance dry and wet. So you don't get too much emphasis on wet and then you have to tweak the master. If you want you to mix between dry and wet freely but keep the level the same, this allows you to do it. There's a simple metering system that we've got. Runs from minus 40 and below, minus 12, minus 6 and 0. And these are just key indicators for a signal, pretty good signal, nice 
bright signal and then you're getting close to overload and clipping. As we mentioned previously, the effects chain matrix is a new type of concept of control. So to simply reorder these five effects, we can simply click which effect we want first. And if there's any cells that are in, in the region before, it will swap. So you can reconfigure quite freely and quickly an effects chain. Now, if we go around to the back, you can see that each effect has its break in and break outs. Don't get too confused with slot because it's the effect that has the sockets, not the slot. So, for example, we have a cleave algorithm. You can break out of the cleave into, let's say, an RV7000. So we'll wire the output to the input, input to the output, and by default, it's always set on bypass. If we set to pre mode, we'll get the signal, which is at the moment, it's a guitar loop on the Rex player. It'll come in dry, and before it goes to the cleave effect, it's set up so the dry signal would go into the pre socket mode. So it goes into the RV7000 first, then it will come back, then go through the cleave. So if I run it, that's just the dry signal. And as you can hear, it's then added the reverb in as well. So if you turn it all the way up, it's literally a mix knob. 100% is completely the RV7000. At 0% it's completely dry. Okay, so if we go into the way this works. And I'll turn up the effects the parameter on play. Okay, so you've heard the way that it distorts. That's distorting the signal of the RV7000. If we want to distort the signal first and then put a reverb on it, you can put it to post mode. Now we will run it. The reverb will be after the cleave effect. And then, simply with the send mode, you get the best of both. So you're getting a dry, cleaved signal with a wet, cleaved RV7000 effect. Because the send mode is working in a post mode fashion, but working in parallel. Okay, now the fun bit is that, okay, we've got this wired up here. And we want to now put the cleave in slot 2 and smash in slot 1. So we've simply just done this. No rewiring, no pulling cables out, twisting right round, reconfiguring, putting cables back in. It's literally done that fast, that quick. So if I put smash up, which is a bit crushing effect. You've 
you've literally just got a, a bit crushed into cleave and the cleave effect is sending reverb. If we put it to post. You can hear reverbed, bit crushed, then cleaved sound effect. Now if we change the order back to as it was, you've now got a reverb effect that's been bit crushed. So it's simply you're swapping the order within simple clicks without rebuilding your whole rack or building multiples. So why do, where's the benefit in this? The main benefit is when you get a compressor and an EQ question in the rack and you think, do I want to EQ first then compress or compress then EQ? With Battleaxe, you can wire up, disable the cleave and the smash and all the internal algorithms so it's just dry. And you can swap external effects the same way you do the internal effects. So you can rewire without rewiring. You can just simply swap the order within seconds. And you can do A-B comparisons, or in this case, A to E comparisons. So you can swap the orders around so fast. And it's quite intuitive because it speeds up workflow and it doesn't get you lost in the wires. It's literally simple, click, 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 that's it. Job done. Okay, let's go on with the next sound. And it can be quite good for experimental practice and techniques just to try out all different stuff. Okay, let's dive into what the effects really mean. So... We'll just go through the simple way that it works. Cleave is literally so is a type of tube distortion. We've used a, our own algorithm on it. Um, so you can actually get a, a flavour of a, a tube style sort of sound. Smash, as we said previously, is a bit crushing effect. Flail introduces a gapper and a noise control. So you can add noise and sample gapping in between so you can create clicks and stranger sounds. Thrash is another form of tube, but it includes overdrive as well. And decap is a third tube, but it's also got a built-in limited control as well. With all these effects internally, you can literally create quite a vast array of sounds. Feel free to look through the rack extension itself. We've created a few um, atmospheres and lead sounds, bass sounds and things like that. And you can pick the, the presets apart to see exactly what we've done. We've used a lot of parallel processing. Uh, with one instance of battle axe to create a very layered sound from one sound so you can be quite quick and easy and you get a sound that's you're layering one sound with distorted versions of the same sound and creating newer sounds which you could sample and feed back in again and quicker resampling processes especially for heavy edm dance music or anything that's really wanting some real high-grade distortion. Other than that, you can use it on guitars, you can use it on drums, you can use it on anything. It's designed to be a fun device, taking distortion that a little bit further and bringing something new and novel to the rack. Feel free to test it out. It's, to us, it's one of our favourite rack extensions we've done so far. And we hope you guys like it. And don't delay, try today. Okay, thanks for watching.